welcome to my series of videos on learning Lightroom. Now in this video I want to take a look at my method of exporting specifically for web or for print. It's a question that comes up a lot in my classes. So let's get stuck in. First we'll find some photos that we want to work with. Well here on the desktop I've got a folder and it's got some images in that I took at the zoo in Barcelona. Now if I just minimize Lightroom you'll see that I've got a folder here with those images in and it's on the desktop. Now let's just select one to start with. And what I'll do I'm going to export this first for web for some kind of web application let's say my blog. So I'm going to go up to file down to export and I'm going to get the export dialog come up. Now we'll go through this one at a time I'll just close everything up to make it easier to see. So first thing is export to. Well I'm going to export to the hard drive. You've got some other options in there but we'll just leave it to the hard drive because that's where I want it to go. First we'll start with export location. Where do I want to put it? Well what I'm going to do is put it back in the same folder. So I'm going to end up with an export folder in the original folder so it keeps everything together. So I'm going to select same folder as original photo. I'm going to put a tick in put into subfolder and then I'm going to call this web. So it's going to create a folder now called web inside my main folder. Okay, file renaming where well you could do but I'm happy to leave in this occasion anyway the file naming as it is. Video, it's not a video so I'm not going to open that. File settings. Okay, this is a web application, so I'm going to leave the image format to JPEG, leave the image quality set up at 100, and I'll leave the color space set to sRGB. So nothing much to do in there really. Next one we'll look at is image sizing. Now in this one I do want to resize it to fit, and I shall resize it to say on the long edge. So for this particular application, it's say for my blog. I want something like let's say 600 pixels along the longest edge and then I'll set the resolution for 72. Output sharpening, yep yeah, well do I want to sharpen? Well I'll sharpen for the screen and you've got some other options for print but I'll, in this occasion it's going to go on a screen and I'll leave the amount set to standard. Metadata, what metadata do you want including? Well I'll just leave it set to all metadata and you can remove your personal info and your location info if that's what you want to do. Watermarking, what do I want to do? Well if you've got a watermark set up you can select it from this drop down. I'll leave that set and we'll just leave it set for a simple copyright. And then post processing, I don't want to do anything so I'm just going to leave that alone as well. Right, so now I've done all that hard work, I've done a lot of um, work in there, what I'm going to do is save that out as a preset. So I'm going to go to the Add, and then I'm just going to call this, let's say, Web Export, and I'll click Create. And now you can see this has appeared as Web Export in the preset panel. Okay, next, let's imagine we're going to send this for Print. So I'm going to go export location, I'm going to leave the same, but this time I'm just going to create another folder called print in the same folder. So now in my folder I'm going to have a folder called web and a folder called print. File naming the same, video the same, file settings I will leave the same, dependent on your lab, but generally speaking I would leave that set to sRGB if you're printing for to a colour lab. If you're printing at home then I would have a look at your manual and see what colour space that you, you want to be printed to. Uh, limit file size, no, I don't want that and 100% quality. Image resizing this time I want the full resolution image. So I'm going to untick resize to fit and I'm going to put this up to about 300. Again consult your lab it depends whether you go, it normally goes between about 240 and 300 depending on your lab. I always send it at 300 and I've never had a problem. Sharpen, 
you could probably do a couple of test prints yourself if you wanted or but really just you've got two options here is it going to be glossy paper or is it going to be matte paper I'll say let's do one for glossy paper and we'll leave the amount at standard again again metadata how much I'll just leave that exactly the same I don't want a watermark on this and I don't want any post processing so again I'm going to go to add but this time I'm going to call it print and then I'm going to click create and then I can close down this dialog box because now I've got those two all set up so let's say I want to do let's say these four and I want to put them for my on my blog so I want them resizing and exporting for the web so now I'm going to go up to the file menu down to export but this time I'm not going to select export I'm going to select export with preset and now down at the bottom here you can see I've got a preset for web export so I'm going to click on that and off it goes and that's it done so now I'll just minimize Lightroom we'll go into Barcelona folder and here you can see now as well as my original images I've now got a folder called web and it's got those images in all exported to the right size for me okay let's go back to Lightroom but this time let's say these four so I'll select another four let's say these I want to send off to a printer so now I'm going to go up to file I'm going to go down to export with preset but I'm going to go down to print and there it is that's it done so we'll just go back onto the desktop and have a look in the Barcelona folder here now I've got a folder for the web which has got my web exports in and I've got a folder for my print that's got all the prints that are all ready to send off for my printer so that's it how I export from Lightroom for web or for print thank you so much for watching please visit my website for more free training on Photoshop and Lightroom I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.